All right, viewers, I'm here today to change the grill. Uh, this is how it looks. I'm trying to put the black one, the black grill on it. As you can see, I try to wrap this side, but getting to this part is going to be kind of hard. So I purchased the whole thing just to replace the, um, looking at it from here. What I'm gonna do is to take off these four bolts right here. And then after that, I'm gonna disconnect to this wire. One here, and then another here. And then the next step is to take off this clump, uh, this clip right here. There's another one here. Then after that, I have some screws here. All I'm gonna use is I have extended extension which is that to help me take out the the two bolts here and then another one here after that I have to take out these bolts come on where is it these bolts right here yeah it's four of those for the bumper I'm gonna rip this off and then bring the bumper out as you can see it's just me so recording and working at the same time is going to be a little bit hard however i'm gonna do my best to walk you through step by step as i go so the boats the four boats are out the next step i'm gonna do is to take the clip and uh, the clip here of the wire harness Disconnect that by pressing this side and then pulling it up. All right, there we go. Just like that. You press, you pull. You press, you pull. Just like that. I have to disconnect this two. You press, you pull. There we go. You press, you pull, just like that. So now the next step, is this clip comes off, all right? All I just have to do, put a screwdriver here, lift it up. Oh, my finger even just got it down. There you go, see that? Come to this side, you do the same here. Put your finger under or screwdriver under. You pull, just like that. You keep it safe, all right? So now the top part is gone. As you can see, it's beginning to lose, all right? Now the next step I gotta do is to take these bolts off. These two bolts right here, and there's another one here. And that's why I have this extension here to go through the, uh, here to get it out, all right? So the four bolts are out using 10 millimeters wrench uh, socket. The four bolts are out, all right? Just one side. Now what I need to do is to pry this side, to lift this side up until I get to this point where I can take the uh, the bumper off smoothly. So as you can see, it's off. It's off all the way to the line here. So now what I need to do is to hold this side, the middle of the bumper, and pull it out slowly. So now the bumper is off, uh, the grill is off. Sorry, not the bumper, the grill. But what I realized is there was four bolts down here, which needs to come off first. Um, I recommend you always work from the bottom to the top. If not, if you're the only person, you're gonna have a little bit hard time. So now it's off. The next step I have to do is to take out this nuts right here six of them to be able to take off this all the all the bolts are off now so now what i got to do is to disconnect this to be able to lift this up all right so once again push pull got to press on it there we go disconnected all right now i'll be able to lift it up 
and place it somewhere safe. Now, the next step I have to do is to take out, take out these little, little screws to be able to get rid of this. I have to take out the camera and then the sensor right here. So the screws are out now. Next step I have to do is to take out this frame right here. And that goes around here. Right. Take that screw, uh, that frame out. So now we have the grill, which needs to come off. All right. To be able to take that off, that also has big clips right here, bunch of them that it needs to come off carefully so none of them breaks there you go right here yeah finally it came out this is the grill sitting right here so now it's time to put a new one on it's time to put the new one on this is the new one to be replaced so let's go ahead and put it on. So the same way you took it off, you just do it in a reverse action or reverse order, all right? So I just pl uh, place the grill on. I put the sensor on with the tightener or the locker. I'm about to screw it down. After that, you go ahead and place the camera. This is how it goes. Uh, it goes in like that. Place the camera on like that. And then uh, we go on from there. Uh, everything is placed now. Everything has been installed, including the sensor. Everything. But except the camera. Uh, so what I'm going to do is to use a heat gun, you know, to get this stuck here. If not, it's going to keep dangling. But for the meantime, I don't have heat gun since I'm at the parking lot. So I'm just leaving it like this. Once I get... To the garage i find a garage i'm gonna use a heat gun to get this in place everything is put together ready to mount let's go get it mounted so as you can see bolts are tight everything is back on it all right about to plug put the plugs back in the harnesses. All right, there we go. The clip goes back in here. We do the same here. Now I have to put these bolts back together. Make sure everything is in place. All four bolts. Tight together. And then move on to the other side. Do the same. So, so yeah. This is the final product. It's done. Done deal. Uh, it took a hell of work, especially taking the grill itself off from this frame and then the base frame. Uh, you just have to be patient so you don't break anything because you're still gonna need it. All right, this is the old one there. Closed to see how it is. Oh, uh, not bad. Uh, fortunately, I have this space here for the uh, LED bar, and I have this. I can put the yellow on here. Pretty much room modified to be TRD, TRD Pro, you know. Um, I have two screws left behind, which came out from the camera the camera you know but with that with this grill there's no uh, room for me to put this so this is the only screw left behind 
other than that everything was great 99.999% um the camera i held the camera up with the tape uh, like i said earlier i'm gonna get uh heat gun make sure i put it uh my use a heat gun to hold the camera tight other than that that's it please subscribe like comment so we can all learn from each other and anytime i upload a video you can see it there you go that's great stay tuned when i put on the lift kit i'm gonna let you know have a blessed day